now? It's the Tom Likas Show. Man, what the common thing with Tom? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Right down our telephone number, you're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. We are month, one month away. One month away from Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the beginning for most people in this country of the big holiday season. But most importantly, is not only the beginning of the big holiday season, is the beginning of the DTB season. And the reason it is the beginning of the DTB season is as follows. You in your, if you want to call it a relationship, do not want the chick you're with to think she has any significance or importance in your life. That is what I always recommend. And so you now have a month to start ramping up to this. Your idea is to try to find some ruse, some scam, make some game plan to get rid of her. Sometime around Thanksgiving. You're out! And the idea is to get rid of her around Thanksgiving and to be done with her through the month of December through Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, all the way up to February the 14th, Valentine's Day. Those are the weeks you want to be rid of her. You don't want to be spending money on her in any way. You don't want to spend Thanksgiving with her family, giving them the idea that you're somehow the fiancé or going to be the fiancé. Christmas Eve, you don't want to be expected to be bringing the engagement ring or any other expensive gift. Christmas Day, another dinner while she'll drag you into uh, her family situation, drag you in with her friends. New Year's Eve, a holiday that women take very, very seriously. New Year's Eve is the uh, the holiday where women decide whether or not you love them because you're with them at midnight. Oh, my God, don't let that happen. If you have a girlfriend, make sure at midnight on New Year's Eve, she's one place and you're another place. Be somewhere else. New Year's Day, same thing. And finally, Valentine's Day. The cost, the pressure, the performance anxiety... <laughs> All of it, this window from the 27th of November up to midnight the night of February the 14th, that is when you want to be single. That is when you want to be without a girlfriend, without a specific committed relationship. That is when. Dean says, and I imagine Dean has experience because he typed this right up on the screen. He says, blame the economy. <laughs> That's a good one. Blame the economy. It's very simple. The economy. Just, just, just get her out of there. Tell you, you know, just, you can't afford to, uh, treat her the way she expects to be treated. Absolutely. Dean says, uh, tell her you uh, don't make enough in two months to buy a ring. Two months' salary would be nearly enough. You just can't afford to be buying rings. You can't afford the expense of having a girlfriend. Yeah, use the economy as your excuse. And then get the hell out of there. Get out of Dodge. Get out. Every year we remind you about this uh, because every year uh, I just feel that guys, uh, you know, chicken out. 
Uh, a lot of you guys knuckle under. There you are at the Thanksgiving table with her parents. There you are on Christmas Eve with her going, I hope you got me the little blue box. Uh, there you are on Christmas Day. If I don't get the little blue box by February the 14th, that's it. We're done. New Year's Eve, she's waiting to see if you'll kiss her at midnight. And then Valentine's Day, holy cow, it's a combination of all of the above. You need to DTB. And you need to do it beginning with Thanksgiving. You don't want to be at the Thanksgiving dinner table with any woman you're having sex with right now. So I'm giving you fair warning. We're a month out and you're getting fair warning. Do not have a girlfriend between November 27th and midnight, the night of February the 14th. Now, I want you to take me seriously because uh, this is not a joke. It's not a game. It's not a scam. This is the absolute truth. Save yourself money. Save yourself pain. Save yourself nagging. Save yourself criticism and critiquing. Save yourself meeting her family and having them tell you you're not doing the right thing. Save yourself all that stuff. And some of you guys are such cowards. Some of you guys actually just knuckle under. And I'm trying to make it easier for you. So, boys, uh, that is my recommendation to you, and I'm here to get your reaction to that at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Isabel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Is this Tom? Did you want to talk to Tom? Yes. Okay, hold on, please. I'll see if I can get him for you. Show at one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom Isabel. Hello. Hi, Tom. I was just wondering, have you ever been in love? Yes. Yes. How do you get over a person? Uh, by having sex with as many women as I can. Hot chicks, not so hot chicks, thin chicks, fat chicks, old chicks, whatever's out there. Does that really work? Yes. Okay, thanks, Tom. Let me try that. What, are, are you telling me that you broke up with somebody? Yeah, I just broke up with my boyfriend, and I just don't want to be in love anymore. Did you dump him, or did he dump you? I dumped him. Really? And what made you decide to do that? Because he, um... Well, darling, you can't say that on the air. Yeah! That's one of the words specifically mentioned on my blog on MySpace, myspace.com slash... Tom Likas. Go there and see the words that will get you hung up on. MySpace.com slash T-O-M-L-E-Y-K-I-S. And you will find out exactly what I'm talking about here. 1-800-5800-TOM. I'm giving you my annual plea, guys. It's time to start planning to unload that girlfriend of yours. You've got a month before Thanksgiving, so it's time to figure out how you're going to unload her. Lisa on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Tom, I want to know why you're telling these guys to make excuses for breaking up with their girlfriends. Why can't they just say the truth? I think I would respect the guy much more if he said, look, I was just using you so I didn't have to go out there and look for ass. Because these guys want to reserve the uh, right to come back on February 15th and jump back into the sack with you. That's stupid. I mean, you talk about... What's stupid about life? that? That's what they want to do. I'm, look, I'm not suggesting that they should jump back into the sack. I, I always say I don't believe in pressing the rewind button. So once I'm done with you, I'm done with you. But a lot of these guys, you know, they have limited opportunities or they feel they have limited opportunities. And so they can't afford to cross anybody off the list. So what they do is uh, after Valentine's Day is safely behind us, they call you and they say, I miss you. And then they go back to uh, humping and popping. Well, I hope those girls are listening. Why is that? Well, so they know what to expect and not to bring the guys back. I mean, I don't know. It, it just sounds ridiculous to me. I wish I honestly would respect a guy much more if he said, look, I'm not into anything serious. I don't want to have to spend. I, I understand things. that that's you, but you understand most women are not like that. Most women are delusional. The minute we have sex with them, they start feeling connected. 
That's a chemical thing going on in there. Well, room. whatever it is, the point is, if you're not like that, you are the exception, not the others. Okay. So that is why the guys have to deal with what's actually out there. They're not all dating you. They're dating others. So basically you're speaking to the idiots out there that don't take your advice in the first place. Well, uh, some of them are people who don't take my advice in the first place. Some of them have never said anything. When the woman assumes uh, she's the girlfriend, the guy just says nothing. Hmm. Okay. And uh, I wouldn't call those guys idiots. They're getting what they can get. But isn't that your number one rule? No girlfriends? Yes, but I, I, as I said, not all of these are girlfriends. Some of them are just regular sex partners who are delusional. Okay. Don't you agree? Yeah, you're right. There are a lot of girls out there. I know personally. There are women, the, many, like the minute they are penetrated, they believe there's some kind of connection. Yeah. And, you're right. And, 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 and of course, why, why would a guy want to ruin this opportunity? Well, then you know what? You're not only helping the guys out there, but you're helping those dumb women out there that are going to be in that position. Uh, look, I am helping everybody. Well, keep doing what you're doing, Tom. All right, Lisa. Thank you so much for the call. Tom like is 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Get show with my advice to the guys. You've got a month before Thanksgiving to edge out of that relationship. If you're with a woman who thinks you're her boyfriend, thinks you're her fiance, this is the time to get out. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. One chick who uh, chickened out wanted to know why I'm so bitter around the holidays. I'm not bitter around the holidays. I am happy around the holidays. And the reason I've been happy around the holidays over the years is because I haven't had a chick with me on Thanksgiving. And uh, believe me, for uh, uh, most of the last few Christmases, I've had uh, no females around on uh, Christmas Day. Uh, no females around on Valentine's Day. Just keep away. Keep them away. Bottom line. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Jeff on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jeff. How you doing? Doing okay. All right. So here's my situation. Last year, I made the unfortunate mistake of having a girl during the holidays. Uh, and that certainly cost me in the wallet pretty bad. Tell us uh, how it cost you. Uh, what were some of the expenses? Um, you know, I had some time off from work, so there was quite a few things that I wanted to do, uh, road trips, places that I wanted to go, you know, out to dinner, out to Vegas. Um, and, of course, she came with me. Oh, boy. And you uh, you paid for everything? Uh, for most things, yeah. All right. And then uh, Valentine's Day, how much did that cost? Uh, too much, Tom. But the point is, uh, I just broke up with my girl now to avoid the same mistake I made last year. Uh, and how did, I she, made how, did she little, wait, how did she react to that? Um, kind of hit it out of nowhere. You know, I, as far as she knew, everything was going great. And, you know, everything was fun, but secretly I knew that there was a deadline, and it was before Thanksgiving. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I'm taking I'm taking that money and going to Vegas by, by myself this year, Tom. Good for you. I'll have way more fun, and I'll probably get twice as much, you know what, Tail. from random girls in Vegas. That, there you go. And uh, you will save a fortune. Oh, absolutely. And, so and a whole lot of headache, too. Well, that that's the idea, of course. 
Well, thanks, Tom. Can you hit me up Kobe style? Yes, yes, I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. I told you as I do annually. Uh, the time to uh, DTB is uh, Thanksgiving time. You do not want to be with your chick at Thanksgiving. You also uh, want to stay away for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and Valentine's Day. Save yourself a fortune. Save yourself a headache. By the way, you get a chance to uh, uh, dip your pen in other inkwells, which I think is fantastic. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here's Danny on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Danny. Uh, hey, what's going on there, Tom? You busy over there, Danny? Uh, no, not actually. Just uh, got out of a little bit of traffic right now. Hey, I just want to let you know that what you're saying is absolutely true, one hundred percent across the board. Right now, in all the bars, all across San Diego. They're packed with all kinds of single women. They are looking for exactly what you're saying for that guy that they can take home to, especially if they're bringing home, you know, like a Marine or a sailor like, like I am, and be like, look, this is what I got coming home. You know, this is my possible fiancé somewhere down the line, especially coming around Christmas and you get new coming around. It's all down here, and it's pretty much for the taking. It's almost like deer hunting season because right now, a single guy and you want to go out there, you can play the game and you can get as many girls as you want with hope that, hey, this might be the one I'm going to bring home, if you know what I mean. Oh, boy. And that's what I'm talking about. Uh, they're looking to uh, to find somebody to bring home to the parents, bring home to the family. Somebody they can say, Mom, Dad, this is my boyfriend, Danny. That's what they want to do. Yep, and that's ex that's exactly what they're looking for. And me and my boys, we go out, and pretty much they already like putting it out there that they're looking for that long term relationship. And you know, we play along and see if we can get that first date, and you know, see how good they are. And then uh, pretty much after that, you know, let's go see what else is out there. Because uh, I'm 26, I got my whole life ahead of me, and I've been listening to you for a long time, and I've learned a great deal, been around the world, and pretty much I can tell you, girls are girls. Where you go? Good points on that, Danny. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Tom. Hey, can you take me out with a bong hit and blow me up? Take you out how? With a bong hit oh, with and a bong blow hit. me up. Yes, yes, I can. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. I've told you, boys, you got to dump her. Dump her in time for Thanksgiving. And then just keep a low profile till February the 15th when you can, uh, you know, bring your head above water again. And if you want to nail her again, you can. Doesn't this make sense? Well, a couple of angry women called up and then they, uh, they didn't even wait long enough to get on the air. It's all guys here. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Bobby on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much, Bobby. Got a funny story for you. All right. Okay, so February 2nd last year, you know, I'm talking to this chick. You know, things are going pretty cool, but I know that, you know, like you said, the deadline's coming, so i got to break it off. Yeah. So, you know, I, I give her the spiel about I'm not ready to settle down. It's not time for a relationship or whatever. So we're having a phone conversation. She's crying. She's boohooing. And then right out of her very own mouth, but I thought we were going to spend Valentine's Day together. <laughs> <laughs> I had to share that with you, Tom. I love when they cry. That's my favorite, when they cry. Oh, always. Always with the waterworks. Got, gotta have that. <laughs> the African tribal, please. Here you go, Bobby. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number here. John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay, John. Outstanding. Hey, first-time caller, uh, long-time listener. Thank you. Uh, 
just wanted to give you a quick shout. Um, there's just so many girls out there right now, and if you're playing your cards right, it is so easy. Um, and and it's easy out there, man. Do tell. Yeah, I mean, right now, probably have about five chicks on deck, just letting them know that, you know, I'm really not looking for a relationship, and, and a lot of them are okay with that, you know? Well, that's uh, that's good when you can find those. Yeah, I mean, just the, the late night booty calls, man. It's, it's phenomenal out there. Yeah, right now. it's all about hooking up nowadays. And anybody who, uh, the, the thing is, you have to resist when a woman tries to make it in a relationship. You have to resist right off the bat. You can't like fake it, like you're uh, you're going to be the boyfriend or something. Uh, right out of the shoot, you have to let her know that's not happening. What do you? How do you feel about girls at work, Tom? Because I got a couple of girls at work, and um, I'm opposed if you like your job because you could get sued. Yeah, good and call. And you have to look at them later on, and when the, after you dump them, that they're going to be around all the time. Yep. What I love about dumping chicks, you know, I live in a house in the Hollywood Hills. They can't find me. <laughs> uh, they, they, you know, if I did it right, I, I was over at their place getting the job done. And then if they object and they want to complain, there's nothing much they can do. What about girls with boyfriends? I mean, because there's a lot of girls that just want to get the booty calls from, you know, guys that aren't their boyfriends. But they have a solid boyfriend and they just don't want, you know, they're just like, don't call, I'll call you. Do you, you. know what I did? I swear this is true. Do you know what I did with a chick one time? This is true. What's that? Uh, she uh, was in a situation. She had a boyfriend or a husband or something. I think it was a boyfriend. And she wanted to come to my place. And I did not want her knowing where I lived. Okay. Do you know she agreed to be blindfolded? Really? This is true. I drove her. She met me at a central location in Hollywood. I blindfolded her and drove her to my house where she she all she knew was the number on the front door. She did not know, like, what street it was. And when I was done with her, I drove her back to the meeting point. <laughs> I actually did that. That's awesome. So what do you think best. about girls with boyfriends? I mean, is that okay? Can you do that? Uh, I, I don't uh, lecture on morality here because I have been a boyfriend who has cheated. I've been a husband who's cheated. And I have been with women who have boyfriends and husbands. So I would not tell you it's right or wrong. If it's right for you, then it's right for you. Okay. Good deal. Uh, but again, just keep in mind, uh, some people are violent and some people may be out to get you if they find out. Right. Good call. And so you have to be careful with things like text messaging and voicemail messages. Because you'd be, you be surprised how crazy some of these chicks are. They give their boyfriends the, the password, uh, the passcode of their voicemail or their email. Then they go out and screw around. It's ridiculous. So there you are sending pictures, uh, you know, of you, uh, you know, like that chick I knew one time with a picture of this guy, uh, you know, sitting on the toilet <laughs> displaying everything he had to display. How hot is that, a guy displaying himself, you know, over the toilet seat? Oh, my God. It's great, right? Uh, but, uh, you know, I found it. She asked me to fix her computer, and there it was. <laughs> All right, Tom, good talking to you. I'll let you go. Have a good night, bud. John, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Mike on the Tom Likas Show. How you doing, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing great. Hey, I just wanted to chime in and you know let the guys know that you know you lay this groundwork nice and early with these girls, and even when you end up getting married or whatever and settling down, they don't ever expect it. And it's not a big deal when you don't do it. I've been married almost 20 years. I don't do Valentine's Day, no flowers when the kids were born. You know, Christmas, all stuff's fine. But you know, I don't make a big deal about nothing. In my you life. have to set the bar. Well, that's true. You have to set the bar really low. Absolutely. Then when you do something, they're just damn happy to have anything. You're right. So that's my advice to some of the guys that, uh, you know, you, you got to lay that groundwork early, Tom. Uh, you're right about that, Mike. Thank you. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Uh, as I've been telling the boys out there, uh, you got a month to go before Thanksgiving. It's time to start planning the breakup with whoever it is you're dating. You're going to break up. You're going to go underground for a couple of months. You're going to resurface sometime after February the 15th. 
Uh, just so you uh, don't get in one of these situations where she gets you to marry her or feel obligated to, to give her an engagement ring or meet her family or any of that stuff. You don't want that happening. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's one 800 800 We're taking the calls as quickly as we can. Michelle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. How you doing, Dad? Hi. How you doing? I am fabulous. That's great. I am a little bit in the reversal of what you're talking about. Had, unfortunately, a long-term boyfriend. And when he started asking me what I wanted for Christmas, I told him nothing practical. He came up with the suggestion of buying me a microwave. No. Yeah. Yeah. He there you did. Go. And so I made it very, very clear. You buy me a microwave. We are completely done. I will throw you out of the house. So in front of my parents on Christmas Eve, I got to throw him out of my house because I got a microwave. Wait, so he was living in the house with your parents? No, no, no. My parents were um, actually visiting from out of town. I see. And he came over to visit, thought it would be nice to give me my Christmas presents in front of mom and dad. Mm. And there was the microwave. But it gets better. The microwave box was my Christmas card in black magic marker. Oh, he wrote on the box. He wrote it on the box. Love that. <laughs> and so I said, well, you just made right it. Right over the cost, right over the Costco logo. Yeah, right over the Costco logo. And I told him, I said, you made it very clear. You really don't want to be hanging out, having fun. I don't want marriage. Let's just have a good time. And he couldn't handle it. He should have gotten you no gift at all. I would have been much, much happier, and he would have gotten very rewarded for it. <laughs> Love that. So I did like you were telling the listeners, all the guys out there, you know, uh, he kept calling, wanting to get back together, blah, blah, blah. I waited until all the holidays were over, including Valentine's. Got a little itch for some loving, and then I let him come over after that. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Tom, 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom, 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. My annual reminder to the guys... We are a month away from Thanksgiving, and that's the the DTV season. You've got to dump your girl now in time for Thanksgiving, so that uh, <laughs> so that you are not uh, obligated to go to family events, not obligated to spend money on her, so you do not uh, mislead her into thinking you're in love with her or something like that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Fred on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Fred. Hey, I want all the listeners to know that you are so right about committed relationships. About uh about six months ago I broke up with my girlfriend. We were together for about a year and a half. I was uh nineteen. And, I mean, thank God we did it, because she went to North Carolina, and if we would have stayed together, it could have ended horrendously. Yep, I think you're right. I, I mean, so it's all thanks to you, Tom. I mean, I, I still got my life in order right now. My only commitment is school, so. How perfect is that? It's awesome. I'm telling you, Tom, 10 years from now, I'm going to be living it, living it up. Good for you, Fred. I'm proud. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Frank on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, I need some relationship advice. Yes, Frank. Okay, I have a girlfriend. I've been with her for about two years now. Why'd you do that? <laughs> well, you know, we started dating a while back. She's a good girl. Uh, but actually, I've been thinking about dumping her and taking her advice because I'm, I'm in school right now. I'm in graduate school, and there's so many beautiful girls at my school that... You know, I want to take advantage of. But the thing is that I'm afraid that if I dump my girlfriend, uh, how, how is it going to be for me down the road when I'm older and I'm having trouble hooking up with these young girls because I don't want to be that old guy at the bar trying to pick up on well, young Well, first of all, be... if you are successful or if you can appear to be successful, you'll never be an old guy at the bar trying to pick up chicks. You, you'll always have chicks. 
Yeah, but won't those chicks just want to be with me for my money? Like, what if I want to have, like, a meaningful what? relationship down yeah, the road? But, but the point is, you know what? People always want to be with you for some concrete reason. Do you want to be with a chick who only wants to be with you because of your parenting skills? Or I saw someone who only want to be with you because uh, you'll show up for dinner on time every night at 6.30? Or who only be with you because you've got blue eyes, they want to have kids with blue eyes? You know, there's a million reasons why women would quote-unquote only want to be with you. Yeah, but it's also nice to uh, be with Why is money you know, more offensive than that? But but the point is, there's no guarantee they care about you, even if money isn't the reason. There's no guarantee they care about you. Yeah. Well, this girl that I've been with, she's, she was with me when I was going through some pretty tough times. And What does that like, mean? How, you're, you're 25. How tough were these times? Well, I mean, I was, I was you know, I took time off to go to school, so I was I was didn't really that have was a lot tough. of money. And she stuck around for, through that time. Did she Did she pay your bills? Yeah, she did. She helped me out a lot. Uh huh. So you pay her back? I don't know. It just seems kind of like a scumbag move, you know, just to dump her and then go out and bang a bunch of chicks. But you could then... easily just pay her back, pay her with interest if it makes you feel better. Yeah. Well, my my, my bigger concern is. Down the road, when I'm 30, when I'm 40 years old, I, I know it gets harder. I mean, I know if you're successful, you can get girls, but... So, you, so you, are, you are unsuccessful, and your plan is to be unsuccessful? No, I'm going to be successful. Well, I mean, and I'm, there I'm you gonna... go. It's not a problem for you, is it? Not really, but, I mean... There you go. So then why worry about that? But what about when I'm 50 and 60? I'm just going to be alone for the rest of my life? Uh, you're not 50 or 60. Tell you what, call me back when you're 50, and we'll talk about how to meet somebody. Uh, can you take me out Bill O'Reilly style? No, I can. Yes, I can. I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. F*** it. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. Uh, F***ing thing sucks. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. <laughs> The Tom Like a Show from Hollywood. At 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. All right, here we are. I have told the guys Thanksgiving is a month away, and it's time to start thinking about how you're going to break up with your girl. To save a few bucks here. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Michelle on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, first of all, I want to apologize because my, my English is not very good. I'm French. And I'm here. Uh, I've been here a month. I'm on some kind of vacation here for two months. And, um, you know, I've been listening to you because I drive a lot. And um, it's, I think it's sad what you're teaching those young guys. It's sad because the relationship between men and women are already very hard, difficult. And, and you're teaching them how to be mean to each other. Not to be mean, uh, just to save a few bucks and also to, uh, I, I, mean, I, I think it's a good thing not leading a woman into believing that you're in love with her when really all you want is sex. But, well, what about sharing? Don't you, you're not happy when you, you, when you give something to, to someone? And oh, you I share. love sharing. I, I've got good friends I share with all the time. I have uh, my, my, my guy friends come over to my place. Uh, uh, we share the best wine, the best uh, liquor. Uh, but the, but we've shared the best women. We've, we share all kinds of things. I share my good life with all my friends. Yeah, I think it's sad. Why, it's do, I sad. Wanna, why do I want to give things to someone I'm having sex with? Well, why not? Why uh, not? Because I'd rather give it to good friends. Make people up. Don't you like receiving uh, presents, things like that? Well, you know? the, the point is I can buy things for myself because there's a cost in receiving presents. You have to give presents, and men have to spend more than women do to buy those presents. And uh, yeah, you know what? It's a lot cheaper to buy things for myself. Yeah, but that, it's, it's different. I mean, I'm happy when I buy something to someone. I'm happy to, to please them. And see, and see here in United States, I, and, you know, my, my mother is American and I'm French. I was born and raised there and she's here. 
Um, but I think everything is about money here. It's too much about money. Well, it I is. And by the way, I, I don't her. I don't disagree with you because I like to spend my vacations in France. I was just in France in June. And, Where? And, Where uh, were you? Well, I was I was in uh, Burgundy. I was in Bonn. I was in uh, Paris. And, and into Cannes. That's where I leave Cannes. Uh, I have not been to Cannes yet, but I've been to Biarritz. Uh -huh. I love France. I absolutely love it, and I love the people, and I go as often as I can. And uh -huh. it's, a, it's a different life. But in this country, we have divorce laws where men get screwed. And, oh, so, and so you can't have guys getting into financial commitments with women in this country because men always lose. So instead of, the, you have to do something to change the rules. That's it. Yeah, but the rules are what they are. So while they are what they are, we have to live accordingly. Mm-hmm. And until they change the rules, this is the way we have to live. If they change the rules so that divorce court is more fair, or so that guys are not financially responsible for women any more than they are financially responsible for us, uh, then we can change our advice. But this is based on the way the rules are today. I don't know. You know what? I, I, I got a divorce. I had two kids, and I raised my kids. I didn't have any... any my my ex-husband didn't have to pay for nothing. I did everything by myself, and I'm proud of that. And see, in France, it's totally different. Of course it's totally different, and that's why I love going to France, and that's why I love French people. I absolutely do. But you know what? French people love American people. I know that's true. That's good relation. You know? I wish more Americans knew what you just said is true. I know that's true. You know that it's true. Yes, right. I know that it's I true. I hope a lot of people listen. I mean, I know a lot of people listen to you, and, and I wanted to say that. Yet, American, uh, French people, they really love America. They love I, American I, All you have to do is walk around Paris and see the streets named after Americans. There are so many of them. Uh, to know that that's true. And, uh, you know, I, I have always told people, you, you're new to the show, I've told people to spend time in France, uh, to get to know France, get to know French people. Uh, don't just go to Paris, travel to other parts of the country, see what's out there. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's fantastic. I dream about it all the time because I enjoy it so much. <laughs> So you know. And I agree with you that French people are different and French women are different. Unfortunately, that's not what we have here. We have a whole different breed here in the United States. You have to change the rules. Um, well, uh, if the rules change, I will change my rules. But in the meantime, with the rules as they are, with the laws we have, uh, I'm going to give my advice, the, the advice that works under the circumstances we're in right now. Okay. Okay, I, I understand a little bit better now. <laughs> well, that's good. Thank you. Well, thank you, Michelle. I appreciate the call. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. France checking in. Love it. Love it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Afton on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's up? First of all, I want to say I love you. You're the best sister. Thank you. Okay. Well, I kind of need your help. Well, I need your help totally. Okay. Well, um, I remember last week I was listening to you and you were talking about Halloween parties, how couples shouldn't go and whatnot. And it just so happens on Saturday I got invited to one. Well, it was my friend's birthday slash Halloween party. And I invited my boyfriend, or I don't even know if you could call him boyfriend, but I invited him to let him know. But he was like, no, I'm going to go drink with my friends. So I was like, okay, fine, that's cool. So whatever, so I went, and I didn't even wear a slutty outfit. It wasn't even real slutty. It was a ladybug and had tight. Why were you going? Wait, wait. You said you went with an ex? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, let me get to that part. I went with my friend, and she brought um, her friends, which are a couple. A couple. So I went with my friend and a couple. Right. I seen my ex there. You saw your ex there, but were you dressed? But you were dressed slutty. No, I wasn't. I was wearing. Um, the leggings. I don't know if you know what those are. Like those I know what black. leggings are. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I was wearing leggings and like it was like a tube I, top. I, I, a tube top. <laughs> Why were you going out without your boyfriend wearing a tube top? It wasn't short. I don't even have big cleavage, so it really didn't matter. That's it's, not the point. He doesn't want you doing that. Huh? He doesn't want you doing that. No, he didn't. Actually, I invited him. I was like, "Would you like to come?" And he was like, "No, I'm going to drink." But he friend. doesn't want you doing that. So you can decide whether or not you want to be with a guy who wants to tell you what to do, but he doesn't like that, and he's not going to like it. He, he doesn't 
doesn't really tell me what to do. He's like, if you want to do it, go ahead. He doesn't really like Right, it. but that's being passive aggressive. And at some point, uh, he'll cheat on you, or at some point, he'll leave you, and you won't understand why. And this will be the reason. I think this is where I'm kind of going with that. And, well, I seen my ex there or whatever. And as soon as I seen him, I called my boyfriend, and I was like, oh, my gosh, you know, he's here. Because he, he knows who he is. And he was like, okay. And I, he was like, tell Tanya, that's my friend. She was like, tell her to leave. Let's go. So I was, I was telling, I was telling my friend, I was like, come on, can we leave? You know, I don't really feel comfortable because my ex is here and, you know, and I wasn't going there to meet anybody because I knew a lot of people that were there. And then, um, what's it called? Like my ex, he started like touching me and like grabbing, like not touching me and like he would touch my shoulder and like, oh, you look so pretty and like saying all this stuff. And he was like, can I talk to you? And I was like, what do you, like, what do you need to talk to me for? You know? <laughs> I have a boyfriend now, whatever. And then I called my boyfriend. I was like, can you please come to pick me up? Because my friend didn't want to leave. And I told her, Tanya, can we please leave? I want to leave. I don't feel comfortable. And then I guess he left. He left. So she was like, we'll stay. And I guess he went to go smoke or do whatever he was doing. And he came back. And then he started talking to me again. And I was like, dude, Tanya, I was like, just take me home. And she was like, okay, I'm going to take you home. So she was taking me home. And she was like, can I have a ride home? Oh, my. And then she gave him the ride home. In Where the is this going, dear? Huh? Where are we going with this? Okay, well, we're going to make a long story short. My boyfriend last night, or whatever you want to call him, she was like, oh, I don't want to be with you because I don't know what you've done in the car with him. Well, there you go. Well, I told him, why am I going to lie? It's like... Darling, at 19, why do you even need a boyfriend anyway? Because I like him a lot. Well, guess what? He doesn't like the whole Halloween party thing, and he just doesn't like it. He didn't even know about the whole Halloween party, what she said, until I told him. Because he listens to you all the time. He's probably listening right now. I'll tell you what. If I had a girlfriend and she went to a Halloween party without me, the locks would be changed by the time she got back. <sighs> but what? I didn't do anything. That's what I don't get. That's not the point. You went. Yeah, I know I went, but he went with his friends. He didn't go to a Halloween party. And he wasn't picking up chicks. And he wasn't being picked up on by chicks. He always gets picked up on chicks. Well, then, you know what? Maybe you don't need a boyfriend. That's exactly what he says, but I don't agree with that. I, well, I do. he does, how old is he? He's the same age. He's 19. He doesn't need a girlfriend. That's what he's saying, but I don't get it. At first, we were with each other, and all of a sudden... Well, maybe he tuned in one day and heard me say that. I'm sorry, what? Maybe he tuned in one day and heard me say that, and then he said, you know what? He's right. Tune in every time. He must have heard you say that every time. And he was like, why would you go to a Halloween party if Tom Likas said not to go? Right. Was... That's exactly <laughs> right. Because you go to the Halloween party, you meet exes, you meet other guys who want to put their hand on your pants. Well, that's what you meet, Tom. Our email address, Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.